I'm Will from Oakley's product development team, and we're going to talk about Sutro. The story of Sutro starts with an opportunity. If you look at our lineup of cycling product, everything is extremely functional, but also very sporty. And something we've observed is a lot of cyclists actually don't want the sporty look, and they're sacrificing function for a look that they prefer. We saw that as a chance to simplify, to maintain a level of function that is needed in cycling, but then add a casual style. And this is where Sutro begins. So the first thing is we started with a cylindrical lens, which is both functional and now giving us some casual style. If you look at goggles and some of the trends that we've seen in goggles, is this transition to what we call a cylindrical lens, which only has curvature this way and is very flat up and down. And it gives it a really different look. And to be honest, a little bit more of a, of a casual lifestyle appeal. After listening to the riders, we needed to add the function and the needs that they were commenting on. One thing you'll notice about this frame is really how wide it is, and especially here at the bottom. The thing that we consistently heard was looking over the shoulder and being able to see without anything in the way was extremely important to look out for cars and for other riders. So we made sure that that was built into the frame. The next functional feature of Sutro is the stems. So if we do a little comparison to our sport frame versus Sutro, you can see just how much longer the stems are in Sutro. The reason for that is we needed it to function very well with a hat or with a helmet. And so these ultra thin stems actually slide under a hat very easy or around the straps of the helmet. The next thing about Sutro is retention and retention is critical on the nose. And this is something we did on the inside, you know it's there. On the outside, you can't see it. But you can see just how big this nose pad is to really cradle your nose and stay in place. That is one of the most critical features in cycling. We do not want the frame to slip down your nose. But if you look closely, you can also see we actually brought some of our heritage back. And this little icon of the original eye shade that was worn by Greg LeMond back in the early 80s, true pioneer of the sport. So if you look at him, you can see a little bit of a relation. With Sutro, we use modern technology, modern function to make this a better frame. While Sutro is a new look for cycling, it still carries the same level of technology in the lens. And with that is Prism. In this case, you can see a Prism road lens that helps you really identify things that you wouldn't normally see out on the road. Then the last thing about Sutro is the name. And the name was inspired by our experience with these riders and listening to them and talking to them and actually riding around in the city and seeing what it's like when it's so chaotic with so many cars driving around. And there's actually this mountain right in the middle of San Francisco called Mount Sutro, a little bit of a sanctuary so you can get away from all that chaos and feel kind of like you're, you're protected and safe. And we thought that that was actually very fitting for a pair of sunglasses that'll keep you protected, but also look the way that you want to look.